Hi guys, Kevlar here. In this video, we're comparing Stranded Deep PC version to the console version, in particular PS5. Now, I love Stranded Deep. This is the game that converted me over to PC gaming. I started playing Stranded Deep on the PS4, had about 150 hours into it, and I got into watching YouTube videos, in particular Broadbent. And this is where I saw him playing on cool custom islands, and there were some other features that I realized I wasn't getting on the console. So, I moved over to PC, and ever since then, I've been playing Stranded Deep on PC, got about 300 hours on PC, so I wanted to go back and have another look at the console version, see what the differences are. Now if we just start off the menu screen, the console screen looks really dark and dull, quite old fashioned and basic compared to the PC screen which looks all nice and bright, nice picture, just looks a bit more modern. In the console options we've got play, play online, cartographer, leaderboards, options, change save slot. PC we've got the same. Let's have a look at some of the options. So we'll look at the cartographer first. So this is a big difference between console and PC. We can see on the console version we've got a square cartographer with 25 islands including the bosses and the end game. Coming to the PC we've got a much nicer looking map, a bit more clear as to how far the islands are spaced and I'm not going to count them all but there's a lot more islands. One thing I didn't realise was on console is you can create your own islands, so new island. So here we go, we've got the cartographer where you can create your own island, you can do the terrain, you can select items, now there's not as many items here as on the PC. Trees, rocks, animals, shipwrecks. If you have a look at the PC version, so again it looks a lot nicer, much nicer screen. However I don't like the menu as much where you select your items, I kind of prefer the console version of that. But we've got so many more items here. So the console version you can't add like the individual items, it's more just the, the parts in the actual island. So it's fixed parts, but here you can add all the items, jerry cans, flare guns, rations, etc. And I think it's probably got more options as well in terms of different shaped rocks, animals, structures. So again, a bit more detailed on the PC side. Right, leaderboards. So you can have a look at the leaderboards, this looks like a, more of a global leaderboard. Day survived, quick escape, animals killed, total items crafted. Then on the PC side, it's showing you your leaderboards with your friends. Wow, look at that, just Rob, 36 days played. So there's a few more different leaderboards to look at. But yeah, if you want the global leaderboards, you actually just go into Steam. Right, let's have a look at what options you get on the console. So you've got some audio options, general, crosshair, item highlighting, HDR brightness, tutorial on off, auto walk, camera view, animals and volumetric clouds. Then you've got the controls and then an about section. So again this is where PC is a lot more detailed. Okay so we've got similar general options apart from the motion sickness effect which is unique to PC. Then we come to the graphics options which is a big difference. So obviously on PC you get to change presets and change loads of different graphics options to match you know the power of your PC. So you can change the resolution, you can change the presets, low, medium, high, ultra, draw distance, field of view is a big one for me, not being able to change this on a console is downside. Then you can change the textures, shadows, etc, etc. So a lot more options there on the PC side for graphics. Then audio, similar, not much change there. Then you've got the controls again, and then similarly, you've got the about section. Right, so let's have a look at getting into a new game. So the PC version here has two more options than the console. So we've got the mode where you can change single player to multiplayer, but console has that option on the screen before to go straight into multiplayer. And the only other option is the starting crate. You can choose to have a starting crate in PC. Now looking at the characters when you're flicking through the genders, kind of think actually the characters look a little bit better on the PlayStation graphically. Right, let's see how the starting sequence differs. So the PC is a bit brighter, but I think that's my settings in the game, which I changed later on. Now I can look around more on the PC, which I struggle to on the console, but I think that was just me not being used to using the controller. Sequence is fairly similar. Graphically, I'd say the PC is a bit better. It had a little bit more detail. The table looked nicer and things like that. It's um, It was more obvious nearer the start when you had the computer on the table and things like that. So we can see here that the PC's got flames that you can see outside of the plane but this one on the console you can't but it's very similar so we're swimming out of the plane then we come up to the surface and we can see the fire on the surface on both of them but yeah my view wasn't very good on console I was looking the wrong way 
Um, PC gets the day one symbol come up, but the console didn't. As you can see, yeah, my console's a bit darker. I changed the settings a little bit later, but I don't know if that's the PlayStation settings or not. Uh, right, getting the raft dragged on to the island here. Yeah, pretty similar starting, not much difference there. So next I want to see if the tutorials are much different. Here we've got the start of the console tutorial. So we've got to pick up two rocks, two sticks and open the inventory screen. On PC, the first part of the tutorial was to craft a stone tool. Back to console, we're collecting our two sticks to finish that one off. Onto the PC, our next one is to craft the refined knife. So we've got to get the bits for that and craft that one. Strangely on the console, the second part of the tutorial is to um, craft an item pile, which we've just done there. Now, I think the reason they've done that is that is fairly new addition to console. It's been on PC for ages, but item piles is fairly new. So they decided to make it the second part of the tutorial. Right, back to PC, we're crafting our refined knife. Next on the list is to look at our watch and have a scroll through the different options. So we've done that one. Right, back to console, we've done our item pile, removed some items from it, next is to do a stone tool. And after that, it's to do the refined knife, so you've got to get the bits and bobs to do the refined knife. Back to PC, we have now got to kill the crab. Kill a crab, and skin it. So we're skinning the crab here. Next is to do the campfire kindling, and get the campfire lit, and cook the crab. Right, back on console, we're back to doing the refined knife. Got our bits, we need to craft it. Here we go, crafted the knife. Next on the list is to look at the survival watch and scroll through. So the watch looks a tiny bit different, it's silver instead of black, but in general it's pretty much the same. Okay, so back on PC we're doing our fire. We've got to craft the kindling. And then we've got to light the fire. And then we can cook the crab. Okay, back to the console, we've got to kill a crab, skin a crab, and then the next one is going to be the same, where we've got to craft a fire, light it with some kindling, and then attach the crab. So on PC, our next tutorial is to get a coconut, break it open, and drink it. There we go. After that, it's building a shelter. Okay, back on console, we're putting our fire down, make some kindling, light it up and attach the crab meat and after that we've got to pick up the coconut and drink it same as we did on the pc back to pc the instruction says to cut down the tree with an axe so we had to craft ourselves an axe so chop down the tree then we had to chop the palm fronds to then craft our shelter so here we go crafting the shelter then next on our list is to do the water still okay back on console we are getting our coconut breaking it up and having a drink and after that it's the same craft a shelter okay on pc we've got our water still crafted we've got to fill it up and then we've got to have a drink from it next is to craft a hammer and build a foundation back on console we're getting our palm fronds so we can craft our shelter get our shelter down there we go and that is the tutorial done for the console back on pc what we've got to do is craft our hammer put a foundation down and that for us on pc is the end of the tutorial so the tutorials are different, they're in a slightly different order, most of the stuff in there is very similar, slightly different way of wording the instructions on how to do each item. Crafting an item pile on the console is a strange one for tutorial step number two, and that's not on the PC tutorial. And the console one doesn't have creating the water still in your tutorial, or the basic building with the foundation. So yeah, a little bit different there. Right, so looking at some graphics comparisons, uh, we can see PC on Ultra at the moment. Looking at the shadows, there's quite a lot of difference there. You can see it's quite a lot clearer. Swapping PC to medium, that's where it looks to me like it's very similar. Maybe the console is a little bit better. So then we switch the PC to high and the PC is better, definitely better than uh, the console there. So I would say it looks to me that the console is set to very similar to the medium graphics of the PC. This comparison here again. Yeah. Comparing this tree here, so it looks pretty square on the console, but actually on PC, I'd say that looks pretty square as well. Might look a little bit better on PC, that's on Ultra. Switching PC to medium, it still looks pretty much the same, so no real change there, but I'd say PC looks a bit better. Chopping down the tree here, so again, I think the tree looks better on the PC. Again, that's Ultra settings, so obviously we established we think the console is medium as i mentioned you can't change the field of view on console and here's a comparison here you can see a lot more of our arm and the axe on pc and the axe is huge on the console 
Also, comparing when we're carrying items like a rock, like that rock just takes up so much of the screen on console because the field of view is not as wide. Looking at the rendering distance of these plants here in the water, so this is on console, see when they render in, and then we'll have a look at the PC and see if it's similar. And looking at the PC, I searched so many islands, there isn't actually many of these little plants in the water, and it's uh, a bit different, but we can see here we're having to walk quite far back. I know it's not easy to tell now I'm so far back, but it's this point here that it disappears. So I start going backwards and forwards, and that's the point. So a little bit further out for the PC. It makes no difference if I change between medium and ultra. So the PC version is graphically better, especially if your PC can handle the higher field of view and the high or ultra settings. Right, so a quick look at some of the differences in game I've spotted. So on console, you get these eggs in nests on top of the rocks, which you don't get on PC. Console also has some different items compared to PC. So if we open this box here, you can see we've got a can of beans, which you don't get on PC and the gyrocopter parts are found in these boxes, which aren't on the PC. They are only in one place in PC. One of the best things about console, which is really annoying on PC, is the tool belt. Tool belt actually works. So you can see here, I've got two items on my tool belt in the console, and I can switch between the two. If I go back to my inventory, you only see the one that you're actually holding. So then if you take that out of your hand, and have a look at your inventory, there's nothing there, but you've still got those two items on your tool belt. That does not work on PC. Have a look in some of my boxes on console, so there you go, I've got more gyrocopter parts, and you see that lantern we just had there, it's red, uh, they're not red on PC, so that's a slight difference, I had a few more cans of beans there, and there you go, look, I've got two gyrocopter parts already that I found on a couple of islands, so yeah, like I say, you don't get that on PC. An annoying thing I found on console is when you're crafting items, quite a long gap between you can craft the next one, so you can see the gap here, I'm doing this as quick as I can, crafting spears, and it takes a while. Whereas on PC you can do them so quickly, so you can create the spear one, two, three, four, so so quickly one after another, it's so much quicker. I don't know why it's so slow on console. Okay, another difference is console rafts are limited to five by four. So we've got this boat here, which is five wide, and then it's four bits long, and you can't put any more items on that. So we'll try and put another raft piece on there, and it just won't go so limited size of rafts whereas on the pc i don't know if there's a limit but you can go a lot bigger so this boat here that i've had this is i think six wide and quite a lot more than four long um yeah so much bigger boats you can do on pc another difference is the meg so you can see on the console version there's a shipwreck by where you see the meg but on the pc version there is no shipwreck just the dead whale right now taking a look at the end game islands so on the console it's very barren there's hardly anything there whereas you can see on the pc we've got bits we've got barrels we've got grass we've got shipwrecks there's things to collect but yeah, on the console version, it's completely empty, this island. It's uh, yeah, a bit weird. And looking at the difference on the end scene, the scene is actually exactly the same, same music, so no differences there. However, you can see on the PC, we've got the gyrocopter parts here. So that's where you can find the gyrocopter parts on the PC, but they're not there on the console, they're out in the crates in the world. Right, so lastly, we're going to look at some things that PC have got which console don't, and these are the real game changers. So first of all, there's the ability to mod on PC, and there's so many cool mods out there for PC, mainly done by the Stranded Wide group. You can get them all on Nexus mods, as you can see on screen now. There's loads to pick from. Just a couple of examples. So this is just Rob on his Ultra Hard modded series and he's there putting items on his raft. So he's got the mod there so you can build on your raft, which is really cool. There's so many other mods out there. I mean, I'm not gonna showcase them all, but one of my favorite ones is simple, but it's the map mod. So you can have an in-game map to see where you are, which is really cool, like this one. And yeah, loads more. The other thing you can have on PC is the custom island. So obviously we noticed you can create your own island on console, but it's really nothing compared to what you can do on PC. And you can download islands that other people created and some really awesome ones out there. 
either from Nexus Mods or on the Steam Workshop. You can see there's loads of them here on Steam Workshop, some really cool islands you can just download and add into your world. Robert Monkey's got to be one of the best island creators and this one, the cube that he did was absolutely amazing. It's just insane, so really cool. Custom islands for PC. <laughs> Lastly on PC, you've got the dev console. So like a lot of PC games, you've got the ability to go in and use the dev console. So on this one, you can use it to fly around, you can spawn in any item you want. It's really handy and quite fun. But that is it. That is my comparison between console and PC versions of Stranded Deep. Now, I've probably missed quite a few things which are different between console and PC. If there's anything you know about, let us know in the comments. I'd be really interested to know. But yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope you found it interesting. Please do give us a like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.